And we're here for the first chase race. And why why is it nighttime? Because this race has been raining and raining and raining. So we're finally here on a Sunday night here at Chicago Land. Even though this will be uploaded on probably not a Sunday. And it's not Sunday now. But it's a night race on a Sunday. Yeah, so you can use your imagination. Anyways, you saw who's in the chase. Bobby Fraser comes in here, seated number one. He's got a three point. My bad, he has three wins. He has a three, six, nine point. So that's nine bonus points because it's three points per win you got. So Bobby Fraser, Ferdinand, tied, um, tied for first seed. Then it's Philip, Anthony, Bailey, R Raymond, Hair Gel, um, all tied for second. And then Noah, Caleb, Mason, Steven, and Alex. Hawkins are all in here and we got a guy not in the chase starting on pole and that's Mr. Cameron Garlington this will let me get my pin out his first career pole comes in here 27th in points and now pretty much points are not on the table for these drivers who are outside they're going for wins Caleb Brennan highest scoring chase driver to qualify then it will be Philip Goldberg um, another chase driver, and we got a bunch of chase drivers right here. Actually, the 33 car, Alex Hawkins, the one car, Raymond Fisher, Stephen Rooks, Mason Powers, Patrick Gill, Andrew Jordan, Robert Goldberg, Anthony Corby, and then the 24 car of Brian Walter. And that's your starting 10. Here's Ferdinand and Bobby starting right next to each other. So 12 drivers come in here. Three get eliminated after these first three races. So we're going to be left with just nine next uh, three weeks. And so we're going to we're going to go Chicago, New Hampshire, then Dover, then Charlotte, Kansas, Talladega, Martinsville, Texas, Phoenix, and then Homestead to declare champion. 41 lap race here. Under the lights, we're starting late. Start your engines. There's the command. We're getting the first chase race started here at Chicago Land. Who's it gonna be? Will it be a non-chase driver, or will we see the chase drivers? Oh, uh, will we see someone in the chase lock in the next round? We'll be right back. All right, here we are. All right, everyone got going. So Cameron Gollington, first career pole here at Chicagoland, is going to lead a bunch of chase drivers. Look at this. He's got six right behind him. Uh, six chase drivers right behind him who all qualified very well, trying to make it in the next round. A win would automatically put them in. But here we go. Cameron Garlington out front, first chase race. This could... We went this could lose a championship here green flags out I was gonna say you could win the championship here, but no you can lose the championship here And I'm a commentator in the first lap Philip Goldberg going on the inside trying to take the race lead very early on here He's gonna do it down the back stretch can he clear came in Garlington Raymond Fisher though wants the race lead oh He slides up almost gets into Phillips some in there. Oh We got a wreck Bobby Frazier's evolved. Alex Hawkins spins about right behind them. And the one car, Raymond Fisher's going to be your leader. We had saw almost two different wrecks right there. Big wreck. Oh, no. Ferdinand, Bobby Fraser, all on pit road. Raymond Fisher's your race leader. Let's go check out those two wrecks. I, I saw two cars get turned, but I'm not sure. First, we see Cody Brennan. They're going to go four wide right here. And it looks like Anthony Corby kind of moves him down into Bobby Fraser right here. We got to go slow and just up the track. Bobby as well up the track. There you see everyone just pile in. Look at this. Anthony Corby involved. Igor Silva. Jesse Turner. Noah Kramer goes through the grass and sneaks through. Anthony Corby, hair gel or Von Alonzo, he's in the chase. Not how he would want to start it. He started back some. There he is. Bailey Scott, did Bailey make it through?
Barely does make it through. Wow. Oh, never mind. He got hit at the end. Uh, I want to go with the 16 car who is way back here. I am blind, aren't I? Where? Actually, f and then we saw the 33 car of Alex Hawkins get turned as well. Get turned by Caleb Brennan, another chase driver. There you see Philip get real high right here. Cameron Garrington and Caleb Brennan kind of turn Alex Hawkins, and Alex continues going though. Okay, we want the 16 car. Like I said, yeah, Bobby, Bobby might be done here, guys. Hard in that. Oh, that's a. Hopefully, Bobby's okay. That that's a real hard look. Well, look at this. 181 hits the wall and just drops. Fernand right behind Bobby right here. Let's go on board with Bobby Fraser for this wreck. Behind the wall. Bobby might be done and then a bunch of more. Hair gel. So I think I saw four chase drivers. Um, we saw Bobby, Ferdinand, Anthony, Bailey, Hair Gel. I think that's it. I think that's six of the 12. Uh, Steven Rooks did not check for him. Oh, wow. Ferdinand got. Oh, he almost avoided it. Okay, so Steven did get through. He's up there. He almost avoided it, but then the 26 car is going to wreck him head on. And so we're in a caution here. Bunch of chase drivers wrecked out. We will be right back. As we come back live, it looks like Raymond's going to lead us down pit road. Steven Rooks looks like he might be staying out. Raymond Fisher, Mason Powers. Um... Now oh, I know your name. Philip Goldberg. Some of the chase drivers hitting down pit road. A lot of drivers staying out though as well. And then here's a bunch of drivers who were involved in the wreck one way or another. And then Ferdinand and Cody Brennan look like they might be done. Same with the 20 car of Robert Goldberg and the 55 car of Brian Goldberg. So Stephen Rooks is your race leader right now. The 31 car of Cody Hagen second. Hank Akbar. Noah Kramer, Eric Powers, Andre Weeks, your top five. We will top six. We will be right back. All right, we come back. Not the race, Bobby Fraser or Ferdinand Juan to start off the chase with both. We'll get a DNF, Bobby 40th and Ferdinand 35th. Both qualified right outside the top 10, and they will not finish the first chase race. Only two chase drivers to be to get DNF include. Brian Goldberg also with Jesse Turner. Cameron Blake, who we saw a great fight at Darlington trying to make the chase. Robert Goldberg. And then Robert Fergus and Cody Brennan also. DNF. We'll, we'll get the DNF. Sorry. Um, Steven Rooks, Cody Hagan. I read your top five. Andre Weeks. Then it will be the 22 car of Colin Grant. And though that's your top seven. Everyone else hit pit road. So Raymond Fisher, Mason Powers, Andrew Jordan um, in the top ten. All of them have fresh tires. That's eighth to tenth. So your top seven stayed out. Then it will be Carson Scott, Ryan Saroff, Mike Collin, Malik Nivens, Alex Hawkins, who lost some positions on pit road. The 88 car of Keegan Alsup, Hair Gel, Graham Stecker, Dejon Weeks. The seven car of Sam Fraser. Bailey Scott, Patrick Gill, Philip Goldberg, Caleb, Caleb Brennan, my bad, Igor Silva, Anthony Newton, Pulsitter, Cameron Garlington, Anthony Corby, Henry Powers, Jeff Fraser, Marshall Rich, and then Brian Walter. That is your whole field rundown. Top left. Look right now. That's your top 10. Your top 20. Top 30. 
and your top 40. You can pause it. So right now, Steven Rooks, Chase Driver, second Chase Driver to lead today. Um, the nearest Chase Driver behind him is Noah Kramer, who will re be restarting fourth. So like I was saying, though, you can lose the chase here. Like Bobby Fraser and Ferdinand Gabalt, they most likely will need a win now. to. And those two both had three wins coming in here. They will most likely have to win to make it to the next round unless something happens to these other chase drivers at um, New Hampshire or Dover. But Stephen Rook's out front right now. Here we go. He sees it. I want to change the camera angle. Green flags back out. Stephen's going to spin the tires. No Kramer way up high trying to get some positions. Steven did not get the start he wanted, but oh, but he got back going now. And now Noah Kramer stuck on the outside. The inside is the preferred lane here. Andre Weeks going around Noah Kramer. Noah's still on the outside. Andre can't clear him yet, and he's going to clear him now. But Hank Akbar as well. Here comes Mason Powers who got fresh tires and off turn four. Oh, Carson's going to spin Colin. Colin back up. Keegan Alsop, Hair Gel, Ron Alonzo, Bailey Scott, Caleb Brendan involved. Philip Goldberg might have got some damage as well. Before the race lead right now. It's a 42 car. Of Eric Powers. So another wreck already, but Eric Powers is your leader, and Hair Gel's blowing up. Hair Gel's done now. Not what Hair Gel needed as well. So the 42 car is your race leader, and we're going to go check out what happened really quick before we see pit stops. All right, so Colin Grant's just racing hard right here. He's going to come down. Think he's clear. I think his spotter told him clear. And he was not. Comes down and Carson's just right there. And Carson's going to clip the front of him. Spin him out. Come right back up the track. Raymond Fisher misses him. But back in the wall. And then Malik Nivens. Hair Gel and Bailey Scott all up there. Just all of them crumble. Oh, Philip did get involved. Here comes Philip. He's coming and he gets clipped by Hair Gel. Philip goes for a spin and keeps it off the wall, so not too much damage there, but still, that's still uh, got to be at least some. Bailey Scott, one of the... We've seen almost all the fan favorites to win this chase. Almost wreck out in this first one. I really like this wreck, though. It's just cool. And then... So we... Here, let's watch it from this angle, and then we're going to go back live. Back up the track and then just big old wreck and right in front of turn one. And then, because we missed it, here's for the race lead. What happened? So Cody Hagen took it from Steven Rooks. And then Eric Powers is going to have a nice run. It looks like here he, Steven just is real high and then Eric Powers comes up. You got about six drivers right here battling for the race lead. And Eric Powers is going to pass Cody here through three and four. It looks like Andre. Oh, it looks like Andre was trying to get it going three wide. But Eric. Oh, Eric and Andre made some contact. And Eric is your leader under caution. We'll be back live. Back live. And Harry Joe going down pit road. Eric's going to stay out. Andre. Steven Rooks. Cody Hagen. First one's down. We're going to see Hank Akbar, Carson Scott, Raymond Fisher, Ryan Saroff, the 33 car of Alex Hawkins, Dejon Weeks. So a lot of drivers are going to hit pit road this time. All right, so while they're hitting pit road, I'm not wanting to jinx anyone, but so far the only chase drivers to not get too much damage or stay out of trouble is Steven Rooks, Mason Powers, Noah Kramer. Raymond Fisher, and I think that's it. Anthony Corby is just in the back right now, but he missed that last wreck, so he's just trying to survive. Everyone else has damage or is out. 
Um, the favorites coming in, for sure, was Bobby, Fernand, and Phillip, your top three. But now, those three are all not having a good day. Phillip is still in the race, but the other two are not. And we we just got word that hair gel has retired with the 22 car still on pit road or right, is he coming off now Caleb Brendan with a whole bunch of damage as well as Bailey Scott Phillips got some damage the 33 car of Alex Hawkins has some damage the one car I don't think Raymond has any damage we'll see right here Raymond does not Steven Rooks and then your leader right now or third place Mason and Noel Kramer so we're going to be right back um, once we get that one to go signal. So yeah. Alright, we're back. So Eric Powers is out front. He is not in the chase, but he's leading this race. Andre Week second. And then you got your two chase drivers in the top five. Mason and Noah Kramer. Then Andre Weeks, Mike Collin, Sam Fraser, Patrick Gill, Anthony New Newton, and then 38 car of... Graham Stecker, and then 12th, you have Anthony Corby. So out of the top seven spots, six of them were trace drivers, and then now we only got two in the top ten. So this is interesting. Top left, you can see your top ten, top 20, top 30, and then everyone else has retired with the 22 car of Colin Grant. One lap down. Here we go. And once again, Noah Kramer's trying to get a good jump on the restart. He jumps to that high side once again, and the two... 22 car is real slow. He's going to be a problem for these drivers trying to get around him. Look at him holding up Anthony Newton and others and company. Graham Stecker, Hank Akbar. Now they're going. Oh, Anthony's going to slide up the track. Now they're three wide off four. But we're going to save it. We're fine this lot by. But you got this huge clump of drivers right here. But two. No Kramer. Mike Collins going to put no on the wall. Caution is out. And look at who the leader is. Mason Powers took the race lead. Mason trying to lead it under caution. And Andre on the inside is going to be Andre Weeks at the line. Sure, everyone comes through here just fine. Third caution of the night, and this time it was another trace driver, just like I said. I didn't mean to jinx anyone, but Noah Kramer was involved. That was inside the top five for sure. Noah is way back here now. Philip looks like he's got a little more damage on the hood. Go check that out. But first, since we're already right here, pit stops. I think this would be a good chance for everyone to come down. And Colin Grant's going to stay out, maybe try to get a lot back. So I believe everyone's coming down. There's not a pit road where you can see. Yeah, so everyone hits pit road. Colin Grant stays out. That's going to put him back on the lead lap. But he'll have to restart in front of everyone. And then he'll just be slow. Here we'll watch the race off. Oh, Carson. Scott makes some contact with his teammate. In the 24 car. With Brian Walter and Andre. Andrew Jordan wins it off pit road. He will be our race leader when we go back green. We're going to go check out the wreck. Said I didn't want to jinx anyone, but Noah's just going, and he slides up the track and gets into Mike Collin. Maybe it looks like he didn't know Mike Collin was there. And he gets going once again. Now, I'm not sure how Philip got some more front-end damage. He doesn't have it here for sure. See what happens under caution, maybe. Oh, he... Ooh, that's not going to be good on Philip. Gets into Jeff Fraser who slides up the track and both of them go into the wall. Oh, Philip destroyed the right side of his car right there. So, oh no, that I wonder why Jeff was kind of slow. But we're under caution. That was the wreck. Um, I think Andrew Jordan's your leader now. Let's go back live. 
Okay, we are back on uh, the 22 car hit pit road while we were away and he went down a lap once again. So he will be restarting on the inside. But his teammate is starting out front. That's the two car of Andrew Jordan. Then it is Andre Weeks, the seven car of Sam Fraser, Mason Powers, Anthony Corby, Anthony Newton, my bad, Bailey Scott, Ryan Saroff, Stephen Rooks, Henry Powers, and Patrick Gill, Graham Stecker, and then everyone else, I don't really feel like saying names. The 18 car is cars destroyed. A lot of chase drivers' cars destroyed. Carson Scott still on pit road after an incident with his teammate. Puts him down a lap. Still on pit road after him and his teammate. Um, Brian Walter made some contact on pit road. And Carson ended up getting almost on his side. As you saw in the video, he did. But... He did not, he almost. So Pinsky starting out front, but the 22 car Colin Grant slow, so might be an advantage to his teammate and the two car who is leading the race. Here we go. Green flags back out here at Chicago Land. Not even halfway done yet, and many of the chase chasers' dreams have come to an end today. Bailey Scott slow, but I think some pit strategy just got him up here. He will probably be getting past real fast. Carson Scott back on track now. Andre Weeks going to the race lead, and here we gotta watch, make sure no one wrecks off of four, and then make sure no one wrecks into one. And Andre Weeks, Mason Powers, one, two. Mason, your winner at Sonoma. Got him in the chase. And he held on to one of the last spots. He fought hard. And here he goes for the race lead at Chicagoland. Highest chase driver right now. And him and Andre almost make contact. But we're fine. Andre in the wall hard. Andrew Jordan. Here he comes trying to take second now. And we've had the longest green flag run of the day now. Ryan Saroff. Stephen Rooks in the top five. Trying to gain some positions. Look at Mason Powers pull away as soon as he got up front. He knows he needs to win. Go ahead and get punched into that next round. Here comes Steven Rooks in the 44. Next driver in the chase will be the 33 car who is that lap. He is 10th battling with Anthony Corby who's also in the chase. That's Alex Hawkins, my bad. And look at Anthony now get a nice run on Alex Hawkins trying to pass him on the inside. Three wide with Anthony's. They made a Anthony's on the outside and then Alex on the inside. Some smokes. What's happened there? They're catching Carson Scott right now and it looks like the 24 car is kind of slow as well. Brian Walter with the 10 car of Jeff Fraser. Steven Rooks up to third. He is making his way to the front now. And they've kind of pulled in Mason Powers. Mason jumped away once he got the lead, but they've caught him since then. And look at Carson Scott just real slow. He's going to move out the way. No, he's not. He comes down and blocks Mason Powers. And, and oh, and then little move there to put Andrew Jordan right behind Carson to slow him down. Andre comes, though, and now Carson Scott on the outside of these drivers. Steven loses a position. He might lose another. Here comes Ryan Saroff and Anthony Corby making his way up. He was in seventh last time by up to six now. And look at Andre coming back to the front trying to take this race lead. And look at Steven Rooks on the outside trying to get two positions. We saw the two cars slap the wall and that let Steven on the outside have a nice little run. But now they're back all up to speed. That's not going to be a good spot for Steven. Here comes Anthony Corby in the four. Out front, Mason Powers. Next car, though, catches the 24 and 10. They will catch them soon. They've closed in a lot since last time we checked on it. Steven and Corby on the outside. Ooh, Steven in the wall some. And here comes Corby on the inside of him. This is for fifth place. Anthony Corby into the top five now. Can't get it done here. Here we go. And now he'll clear it. Steven Rooks for fifth. Anthony's marching to the front now. 33 car of Alex Hawkins inside the top 10. He is running 8th, having a good day. Trying just to finish it. Raymond Fisher right outside the top 10. 
Actually, Newton went way back since the last time we saw him. And battle for the race lead. Andre Weeks on the inside of Mason Powers. Andre is not a winner this season. He's not in the chase. He's going for just wins. And he's out. He's going. Whoa, look at that. Way inside. And that's Steven Rooks. That is Steven Rooks. He got back around Anthony Corby. Anthony Corby going in the wrong direction now. He must have gotten the wall, giving up a lot of positions. Going back to 8th now after he got up to 5th, but Steven Rooks up to 3rd. And now here's the lap traffic I was talking about. Here comes Mason Powers on the outside, but they both got a driver in front of them. Steven Rooks, oh, I thought he was about to go through the middle. Here's Steven Rooks now, Ryan Saroff and Andrew Jordan. And there are three wide back there, and here comes Steven Rooks. He's not going to get done. Never mind. Mason Powers in the wrong direction. Cody Hagen's up here. He's a race winner this season, but he did not. Oh, Mason Powers and Ryan Saroff make contact. Almost slide around. And Steven Rooks going for the race lead now. In the 44 car. We're past halfway now. I forgot to say that. On lap 28 of 41. Here comes Steven Rooks. Look at him. He's going to put Andre in the wall. Not touch him, though. Just run him up the track. And Andrew Jordan now right behind him. And Mason. Oh, I thought Mason was about to go three wide on them. Alex Hawkins is up here in 6th, he's like what, likes what he sees, Anthony Corby back to 8th, just been running that back here now, Dejon Weeks inside the top 10 with his dad, while his dad battles for the race lead, but Steven Rooks kind of checked out now, as now Mason Powers goes to 2nd, Steven and Mason Powers, 2 chase, oh Steven got real loose right there on the front, straight away lost a lot of time, here comes Mason Powers for the race lead, as we see for 5th, the battle's heating up, Three wide and I heard a car just get in the wall. Three wide for the race lead. Cody Hagen cautions out. I think they're racing for the lead. Oh, Cody, be careful. You got two chase drivers outside of you. And Steven hits the wall, but he will be fourth on the line. And Raymond Fisher. Oh, I thought Raymond was about to get turned, but it looks like Eric Powers was involved in the wreck. But your leader right now is Cody Hagen. Cody Hagen, your race leader, will be right back. Eric was 11th. They were racing for 10th place right here. And so Eric just... You'll see right here. He, uh, he just slides up the track and Day John's just going to put him in the wall right here. And that's a hard hit. His car was done right there. But then Noah Kramer's going to be on the outside and hard hit right there to Eric Powers. That ends Noah's, this, this is going to end Noah's day for sure. Look at this. Noah just out of nowhere. What a hit by Noah Kramer. On board with Noah. Here we go. Watch the speed right here. 140 and then all the way down. So the 42 and 43 wreck with just over 10 to go. Big hit to both drivers. Both are done for the day for sure. And so we're going to come back. We're going to restart with just under 10 to go. One more time. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So Cody Hagen's your race leader, but these drivers got around him. And so they're just going to, they're all petting anyways because it's going to be less than 10 laps to go. So you need tires here. Quick. It's going to be a quick, um, Try to gain as much as you can, and will we see pit strategy here? I believe everyone hit pit road. Even the drivers one or more lap down. We are going, I'm going to have to do this angle and then just catch whoever. Okay, yeah, we'll just stay on him. Go up some, go up a little more. Is it going to be Caleb Brennan first off? Why? Ew. No, he's going right on Drew Jordan trying to get off. And then Phillip gets into Mason Powers. Very tight pit road here. And Steven Rooks loses a whole bunch of positions on pit road. Not what he needed, but it was Cody Hagen, Andrew Jordan, Mason Powers, and then Andre Weeks and Ryan Saroff. Or scratch that. Mason Powers is slow. Mason... Must be fifth. So 
they John on for a long period of time. And I believe the 43 car and the 42 both have just retired. That leaves 24 drivers on the lead lap on the racetrack left. We'll be back when we get the one to go signal. So, Cody Hagen, your race leader, one Daytona. All of a sudden, now look at him. He is out front trying to win a race that's not a restrictor plate race. We're going to restart with seven laps to go. Six laps, seven laps, seven. I, I cannot do math right now, guys. Five, six. Six laps. Seven laps. Six or seven laps. Oh, my God. My bad. I'm just having a brain fart. So here's your top five. Cody Hagen, Andrew Jordan, Mason, um, Anthony Corby, Andre Weeks. Two of the five is in the chase. Look at the rest really quick. I'm not really going to name names. If you want, you can look in the top left. Then we got a few cars, one and two laps down. Here we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's seven laps. It just se that just seems a little long for me, but I'm pretty sure. Green flag is back out at Chicagoland. Who's going to win it? And will we end under the green flag? I really hope so. Mason Powers on the inside. Here he goes. Under Andrew Jordan for second. Will we see a chase guy win it? Right now it looks like it might be Mason Powers. Look at the run he's getting. Down the back stretch on the inside of Cody Hagen. Does he have it here? He'll be on the inside here. Coming off turn four. Cody's in the wall. He's going to give the lead to Mason Powers. Caution's out. Oh, Patrick Gill and Malik Nivens, but Mason Powers is your race leader. Uh, they... Are they racing back? No, I think caution's out for sure. And we might get going again. Not sure. Not 100% sure. Pace car trying to catch them. I don't think we'll see pit stops. Maybe some people. Okay, we're going to go check out the wreck and be right back. Colin Grant's going to give a little bump to Malik Nyman's. He pretty much says, Malik, move. I got a better run than you. And moves Malik right into Patrick Gill, who gets in his teammate Brian Walter as well. And then Day John, I think Day John just got a little loose. Patrick minding his business on the outside, trying to pass all these slow tra traffic. Patrick as well was kind of slow, but then Malik right into Patrick Gill. Hard hit for Patrick Gill. Patrick, I think, might be done for the day. Let's go back live. Who's going to win, and will we go back green? All right, so we are back. Lap 37 to 41. Pretty sure we'll go back green, maybe two or three laps. But Mason Powers out front. Cody Hagen, Ryan Saroff, Anthony Corby, Andre Weeks, your top five. Mason and Corby really want to win. These other drivers really want to win. Cody Hagen already has a win. He is 38th in points, though. Probably will end there this season. But if he gets the win here today, that's just two wins on his career. Um, he's a free agent next season already. Uh, he has no ride next season, so that would be nice to be on his resume as a two-time winner. And out of the race, we can say the 48 as well as the 24. Retired, so two Hendricks retired. Patrick Gill and Brian Walter. Malik Niven still on the racetrack. He is... And we'll go be right back when we get the one to go signal. Alright, so we're going to go back to go on lap 40 of 41. So, two laps. So, green, white, checkered. Green, white, checkered to settle the first chase race of the Nintendo Cup series. Next week is New Hampshire. Don't forget about that. What chase driver can win today? Or will we have a regular guy win and just spoil the chase fun? And who will make it to the next round? Because then we got Dover, and we know we'll see a bunch of wrecks at Dover. So here we go. Mason Powers, hopefully he can get this one here and just go on to the next two races. Carefree. Green flags back out. I know I'm late, but here we go. Cody Hagen diving to the inside of Mason Powers for the race lead. Anthony Corby on the outside, going in the wrong direction. Mason Powers going in the wrong direction. Ryan Saroff should have made the chase. Was second after Richmond and did not make the chase. He is in second now trying to get his first career win. Look at him dive bomb. Look how far down he drove that in. And Mason Powers is in the wall. 
Mason Powers, is he going to get turned? White flags out. Mason Powers still sideways. Here goes Mason Powers back into the field. He's going to collect the two other chase drivers, Anthony Corby and Alex Hawkins, on the last lap. Oh, Philip Goldberg's upside down. This is all on the last lap, so they're racing back to the line. Big wreck here, and for the race win, who's it going to be? Cody Hagen off turn four. Here comes Cody Hagen to the yellow and checkered flag. Cody Hagen wins it here at Chicago Land. He'll pick up his second career win after he hasn't won since Daytona. And no chase driver will finish inside the top five. Steven Rooks will finish six. He's the first chase driver to finish the race. We saw Mason Powers. Mason tried to win it, got pushed back on the last restart, and he will. He went back into the racetrack and um caused pretty much caused Philip Goldberg to wreck. What a finish to this race. Believe the fans are glad they stayed. Congratulations to Cody Hagen. We got to go check out that last lap turn of events. Look at this. It was all chase drivers too that pretty much got in it. Caleb, Brennan, Philip Goldberg, Alex Hawkins. Wow. What, what a way to finish this. We're going to go check that out. Congratulations to Cody Hagen on your second career win. And points. Ooh, who's going to be in the chase still? We'll be right back. Mason Powers is third right here. He just comes down. He's going to get in the wall and then come down. And your pull sitter, Cameron Gollington, just collects him. Mason won't turn the wheel to the right. And he just gets turned up the track. Oh, Alex and Anthony Corby right there. And then they, they come down the track. And wow, that was a hard hit, dude. Here we go. Alex Hawkins is the one who takes the hit right here. By the 22 car, Colin Grant. Carson Scott, Colin Grant. Carson helps Phillip also flip. Raymond Fisher also involved. So what happened up here? Why did they wreck? Oh, they tried to avoid it and then Raymond and Sam wrecked. Trying to avoid it. And that was right outside the top 10. And then Cody Brennan gets in them. Look at Philip Goldberg just flying to this picture. Watch Philip. He's going to enter your screen about right back there. Fly into this picture. Hard hit. Oh, I hope Philip's okay. I'm glad uh, the Nintendo Cup officials did not throw the caution flag. Let the now let's watch this last lap because it was Ryan Saroff who led at the white flag, I believe. The last lap for the leaders. Here's Ryan Saroff, he gets the white flag. Cody, and then in the back, you'll see the wreck. Cody Hagen just gets a good run through one and two down the back stretch. There you can see the white flag being waved. Caution's out. Cody Hagen. Oh, look at Ryan try to get the draft off a little bit. And then Ryan gets in the wall. And it wasn't enough. And Cody Hagen picked up his second win of the Nintendo Cup Season 1. So congrats to Cody Hagen. Heartbreaker for most of these chase drivers. All torn up at the end. And Philip Goldberg had the... I think this was a crazy wreck I've seen. Philip just having a horrible day. A flip and then hard hit into the outside wall. Export it. I know I already did it, but I'm going to do it twice because now it says complete just to be sure. 27, right? Yep. Yep. Here's your finishing order. Cody Hagen wins it. Ryan Saroff, Andre Weeks, Igor Silva, Andrew Jordan, and Steven Rooks. Uh, top six. Steven, highest chase finishing driver. Cameron Garlington. I mean, Hank Akbar, Cameron Garlington, Henry Powers, Mike Collin. Bailey Scott, second finishing um, chase driver. Keegan Alsop, Marshall Rich, Graham Stecker, Anthony Newton, Malik Nivens, and Raymond Fisher. Your top 17. Those are the drivers who finished the race. Everyone down here did not finish the race, pretty much. Um, they wrecked on that last lap, or were already a lap down. Anthony Corby, 
Mason Powers went from 1st to 18th after that wreck. Anthony Corby, Alex Hawkins, Sam Fraser, Caleb Brennan, Philip Goldberg will finish 23rd. Jeff Fraser, Dejon Week, Colin Grant, Carson Scott, Patrick Gill, and then um, everyone else who retired. Points are going to look crazy now in the chase grid. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, we know Stephen Rooks is going to be at, at a top now. Um, but how much will he be above the cutoff? Let's go check it out, guys. We will go check out chase standings now.